tracking snow north of Spokane into the higher elevation, certainly, but we're going to see better weather here. We had the snow this morning, got about an inch. Uh, it was melting as it hit the roadways, but onto the grassy knolls, it stuck around. We're seeing that continue to be to the north of us, and now we're seeing the rain showers, Doppler radar saying, yeah, it's going to stop for a little bit, and then it'll come back, and we'll just see rain showers through the day, potentially. Uh, again, this afternoon should be drier. 42 will be our high today. We'll see that at 2 and 3. You can see where, again, the computer model saying hit and miss showers through the day, uh, even into this evening temperatures uh, into the upper 30s, which is where we were yesterday. And 42 is a normal high, so we're still going to remain normal than uh, average. Showing you the bomb cyclone, how big it is all the way into Northern California as we see this thing. Uh, rotate through slowly moving that's why we're going to have this energy all the way through Friday what we are going to see because of this is not what they're seeing in British Columbia and on the west uh, coast but we're going to see waves of energy come across that's why we're going to have these scattered showers but this is a huge system um, forecast radar rain we're going to see some breaks we're going to get some more rain showers we're going to get some breaks more rain and then tomorrow should be drier um, we'll see some rain picking up for the evening and then into Friday morning and through Friday itself. Again, sh scattered showers pushing through the area. Friday does look to be wet. Um, 42 today, 42 into Coeur d'Alene, mid-40s into Ritzville, and then 55 into the Tri-Cities. Snoqualmie Pass travel is looking pretty good. So is I-90 heading into Montana. They're working it, um, but slow going. Allow for extra time. We had a weather alert day for this morning with the snow. We saw that come to fruition. Um, snow showers now into the mountains, rainy through Saturday, and then we dry out and we cool down for next week with overnight lows into the mid-20s. We'll continue to keep you up to date about every 10 minutes right here.